So first of all, I've got to apologise to you. I thought there'd be more interest, I've got to say. Um, but uh, this is just fantastic. I want to let you guys into a Stranger Things secret. Because, you know, probably like me, you think, oh, you know, all the cast, everyone knows each other, all buddies, yeah, they're all phoning each other. And earlier on, there I am in the green room. In comes Alec. In comes Grace. And they both go, oh, hi. Oh, hi. They've never met each other. Rex, and this is where they met. This is it. And then we've got our own Stranger Things moments. Rex, amazing, absolutely. So you guys had never met before. Um, what, what was it like meeting? Were you, were you, were you expected you, you both to be? I expected longer hair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the curly hair. Without the curly hair, you look about 10 years younger. Thanks. It's got to be said, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, earlier on, Alex said he said it's the new hotter version. <laughs> it was the new hotter version, but there we go. Um, Grace, I wanted to say because you you started acting when you were nine years old, is that right? Or you were in programs at nine? No, my dad would like throw me in things if I came to set with him, but I I didn't really start acting till I was seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Okay, but I, I saw you in you know you you were in things because someone's got a famous dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for those who don't know, has anyone here watched, uh, you know, Starship Troopers? Anyone? Yeah? Oh, yeah. I love that. Oh, yeah. So if you remember watching Rico, that's your dad. Yeah. And um, that's not the only famous actor in your family, is it? The only one I care about. The only one you care about? Oh, that's true. That's true. But, um, yeah, of course, Robert Mitchum as well. I was going to ask him. Absolutely incredible. But there we go. So I, you know, I was watching Stranger Things, and your character it was just amazing. You, you, you were the quintessential cheerleader. You know, the person that everyone else looked up to, everyone wanted to be. Well, that was the image, but underneath there was something much darker going on. And how did did you know about that at the beginning when you first started? How how were you introduced to that? Um, yes, I kind of, I always, I don't really believe that there is a one-dimensional character ever, and so I'm always trying to play everyone with a bit of a backstory, and most of the time people are like, what is she doing? Like, why can't she just play it straightforward? So when the Denver Brothers saw it, and they were like, yes, that's what we wanted, I was like, really? Right! <laughs> But I, you know, you're with you're with uh, Jason Parsi, you know, you're, you're the head of the jocks as well. You guys, you know, the, the perfect couple, as you'd see it. And we all thought that we all bought it, we all bought it. And then uh, what was that thing with Eddie? <laughs> because you know, you know, we get the scene with Eddie. I mean, I don't know if you got, you know, wow, was there chemistry? In the woods when you met up, you know, to buy certain substances, uh, you know. It, it, there was chemistry. It was amazing. So I mean, you know, was was Chrissy was Chrissy happy where she was, or would Chrissy have moved on? <laughs> what do you think? I think um, Chrissy and Eddie definitely would have become a thing. <laughs> I think I think we should have seen all of that. I think that would have been the greatest thing ever. Although you would have broken a million hearts, you know that, don't you? <laughs> And some. Well, they're both in the afterlife now together, aren't they? <laughs> Who knows what's going on in the upside down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and, and we see you uh, as uh, Dr. Alexi. I, I mean, I'm looking at you now. I can see parts of Dr. Alexi. It's just, it's just crazy. You look, you, you look so good. What was that part like to play? That must have been amazing. Yeah, it was really fun. I mean, they had a clear idea about the character. And they just went, do whatever you want. So, <laughs> I did. People loved you. You were brilliant. And yes. you played the part so well. You know, it's, it's, I know he's doing Russian everything, but you were a really, really intelligent guy. You speak um, Russian, Ukrainian, English, obviously. Mm. But I think you touch a little bit of German, Spanish. Mm. Uh, German, not really. Uh, okay. Spanish, immigrant level. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness me. Um, but... You know, we we loved your character, and I think was it for you guys? Was it the innocence of that character? 
you know, where where basically you know you found a cheeseburger, cheeseburger, or you know, cheeseburger, or, you know, just get excited by everything. That's and the thing. It was like a childhood yeah. innocence, yeah, which absolutely. I think we just all fell in love with. You know, your character was just brilliant. Um, so, I to me, the, the, oh, I don't want to spoil it. Is everyone see, everyone seen Stranger Things? Yeah, yeah. We're not really. There's no spoilers, is it? The fact that you guys were. Uh, left when you did it's just mad man I'm never going to forget it we, we needed Chris Chris and Eddie Chris and Eddie yeah. uh, we got there might be a couple of questions out there and so I think it's only fair we throw it to the audience as well um, because they're going to be as excited uh, as I am to meet you <laughs> Um, did you both expect to be expect to be big fan favourites even though you only have small parts no. No. <laughs> no, I kind of I thought that people would just be like, oh my gosh, who is this person? Why don't we have more time with our main cast? This is so annoying. Oh, thank God she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same. I, I just I, I was just kind of thinking, I don't want to ruin it. You know, like yeah. so just do as well as you can without kind of getting in the way sort of thing. Yeah. Did you feel like that as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but couldn't help myself. <laughs> I think people, people were devastated when you died. They were really angry when you died because your, your character was really loved and, and people just didn't like it at all. I think in my case, probably they were surprised because I was in like four episodes or something. Yeah. And, and uh, so it was supposed to be one of the deaths that sort of you feel sorry for, but then it kind of grows and grows with the other characters coming in and sort of thing. But because of the fluid nature of the show and the artists that are behind it, they allow you to bring your own spark, I think. Yeah. So you kind of feel a little bit... It, it just goes where it goes. Yeah. And, yeah. And, you know, it took me about three... I watched... I've watched Stranger Things a lot of times, and it took me a couple of times to realise that when Eddie was doing the solo, um, you know, obviously when when you left the show, he ran. And I didn't really get it. The first time of watching Stranger Things, I didn't get the what, what he was saying. You know, this time, I didn't run. And you, you realise he's, he's nodding back to you. You know, your death when you die, he's talking about that. It was just like, wow, that's just brilliant. That solo was dedicated to your character. It was just absolutely amazing. So, um, oh dear, we need to lift this. Okay, quick, quick. Let's grab, a, grab another one. Hi, Grace. Hi. Um, this is a question from my granddaughter, who you met earlier on, and she had an amazing time. Thank you. Um, when you got the script, what was your first reaction to her dying scene? Oh, I thought it was so dark. <laughs> and I, I didn't, like, I think something we were all talking about the entire time, like, Joe, the brothers, and I, and Mason, we were all just like, are they actually going to let us get away with this? <laughs> like, this is very dark, and it's probably, I think, the darkest death scene in Stranger Things. Um, so we, I just didn't, we, none of us really believed that it would, what was on the script would end up on the show, but it did. <laughs> so it's awesome. <laughs> First time I've ever died. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and, and you, you, you did it. You did it a big time, didn't you? Let's be fair. Um, so this one's for Grace. Um, so you played a cheerleading character. Did you actually learn how to cheer, or did you learn how to for the role? I play basketball and tennis. Um, I always thought cheerleaders were really pretty, <laughs> but I did not ever ever, ever attempt anything like that, no. <laughs> this is a question for Grace. Um, how does it feel to um, die in the first episode? <laughs> it feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Al. There's another question for Grace. <laughs> 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 just, 
We'll have a chat. Mm-hmm. Carry on. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of your dad, and I, I just wanted to. Have, <laughs> have you spoken to him, and has he given you his thoughts on, well, specifically your final scene or the show in general? My dad's my best friend. Um, he binge watched season four before I even got to episode two. <laughs> He he loves it. The other day he sent me a photo of him wearing a shirt with my face on it. <laughs> it said, Chrissy, wake up. And I, I don't even think I responded. I was just like, the head. <laughs> Maybe he's, he's my biggest fan. <laughs> it's, and he's awesome. <laughs> no, thank you. Hi, this is a question for both of you. Um, <laughs> Wake up, Alan. If you could play any of the other characters in Stranger Things, who would you play? Ooh. Dustin. <laughs> Dustin's smart. <laughs> well, you, you started to get the hair for it, let's be fair. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go back. I'll go back. <laughs> I think like. Eleven or Vecna would be pretty cool. <laughs> could, could you deal with the shame phone? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> okay, um, this is for both of you. So, because you are both and characters are surrounded by such intense nerds in the show and obviously we're at Comic Con if your characters were to ever go to a Comic Con who do you think they'd dress up as or be really excited to meet that's a good question that's a really good question if my character dressed up for a Comic Con mm. for a character on the show or anything any show wow <laughs> deep <laughs> Do, do you guys want time to think about that and come back to it? I feel like Chrissy would be Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a, Dr. Alexi would be like a gladiator. You know, just <laughs> muscles and all that. <laughs> Maximum Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah I, th- I like that Chrissy embraces being a girly girl, so mm. she'd be a Barbie. <laughs> Fantastic. Hi, my question is for both of you. Um, who is your favourite person to work with on the set? Mm. Mm. Me again. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed working with Winona Ryder and David Harbour. Like real professionals and very giving in terms of as just partners. So a lot to learn from them. Yeah, I didn't work, I met everyone, but I didn't really work with anyone in depth other than Joe, so I think that's an easy answer. <laughs> Hi, so um, I was wondering, since your character's, for both of you, sorry, um, since your character has such an early demise, where would you like your characters to have, uh, like, blossomed? <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, uh, Blossom? Uh, sorry, what? What would you like? <laughs> what? What would you like to Had I not died? In my case, it would probably be a relationship with Mary, where, you know, it's a, like a wife husband sort of relationship. It's frustrating. I would imagine that people want. Oh, yeah, I imagine uh, like a Chrissy Eddie wife husband relationship. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. <laughs> can, we, uh, can we just get some much down here as well? Yeah. There are a lot of people down here. I want to make sure we're, we're getting on. Hey, um, as someone who's in drum school at the moment, I find it very interesting um, the actor's process, especially during the death scene. And this is both you. Uh, could you both walk me what that was like and how you prepared for a scene like that? <laughs> what the death scene was like? <laughs> Sorry? How you prepared for a scene like that? Oh, how you prepared for it? Um, 
<laughs> I mean, like, when I'm running away in the house, I've done horror before where I'm just, like, running around screaming and crying. So I didn't really have to do a lot there. <laughs> I'm used to doing that. Um, and then for the actual death, I kind of just had to stand there. <laughs> with contacts in. <laughs> uh, so, I didn't, yeah. yeah just, My death is pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's hard to advise, I suppose, in, in those kinds of things, but um, I think sometimes um, little is more, you know, and, you know, if you're dying, I don't know, for me, personally, I didn't have to do too much as well. So it's just kind of um, the helplessness of it all and the shock. I would say just try and play those kind of things. Do you have like something that's like your go to when you have to cry? I always think of Mufasa dying in the Lion King. <laughs> that's like my go to when I have to cry for anything. That's sad. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have one actually. Huh. Yes. <laughs> what do you do? I just, I just, I just stand right. there. I just stand there. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, when you were there coming in blood, we were just hoping that please, please be a cherry slurpee. That's the, just, he's got his cherry slurpee. That's all it is. But no. But no. <laughs> um, no. Yep. Um, so, your character in season three is obsessed with Slurpees, and what's your favourite flavour of Slurpee in real life? <laughs> um, <clears throat> cherry. <laughs> Have you tried other flavours? I did. What, I, did. What, what I, I don't like them. <laughs> I like the mix. I do have the, oh, yeah, I'll be honest. Here we had these slushies where we, we could mix them in, in cinemas back in the day. It's really good. Is that not a thing anymore? No, I don't know. Yeah, is that a thing? Oh, then, yeah. What do you mean back in the day? <laughs> we we want to make side now, right? At a certain point. Yeah. <laughs> I just had it on. It's a little, I'm so sad, but it's a, it's a little... Van outside that he brought in the cherry slip with me. I was just going to drink it while you were doing you were doing your interviews. Do they sell them here? They got them outside. It's a little van really? outside. Yeah, yeah. They, I was just going to do this every time you do the question, but I thought I better not, just in case it put you off. <laughs> what is this? It's um, this is pre cherry slurpy before you freeze it and put the cherry in. But it's nice. You like it? It's good. It's nice. <laughs> Um, while filming Stranger Things, who is the funniest person? Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, Chrissy. Chrissy, that's a good one. <laughs> oh man, I mean, Mason's funny. <laughs> he's really funny. Um, he's a dork. <laughs> I think as an actor, yeah, I would say David. David's really fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's fun. And Winona's funny as well, actually. Yeah. And I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the three of you together. Boom. Boom. <laughs> it's going to be a hit. I tell you, it's going to be a hit this show. <laughs> okay. One at the back. If you could resurrect any character from any season, who would it be? Yeah. <laughs> Do we have the same question? What? Hmm? Do we have the same question? Yeah, it's question for longer. Right? We have the same question though. Who would you be? No, other no. Than, you you know? could bring someone back to like your dad. I don't understand anything. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just repeat mm. the question and it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Ah, it's hard to say. In all seasons. Can I pick one from each? <laughs> yeah. It's easy. Is it easy? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Bob, the first one. The second, second one, one is Bob. <laughs> Am I wrong? You can't bring him back full time. Bob. Bob and Bob. Bob and Bob. Bob and Bob. <laughs> What's in Barb? Barb. 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 
Far, far from God. Far from God, yeah. Lexi, and... <laughs> no, Chrissy. No, just like I'm sitting here. <laughs> Bar Bob Alexi Eddie. <laughs> oh, <you're definitely. laughs> Hi, um, this one is for Alec. I think I think that's how you pronounce his name. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but before the series, were you already fluent Russian, or did you have to learn Russian for the series? I can speak Russian. I I grew up with the language, so yeah, it's easy. Easy for me. <laughs> to this day, they don't know what I said. <laughs> Literally, they, no one stopped me. Like, no one could speak Russian and say whatever they want. Oh my goodness, I never ever thought of that. I was really worried about it, actually. Oh. Yeah, but it, it all worked out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's true. This is for both of you. Um, if Chrissy and, like, I don't know how to say it. If, yeah, what, what song would say both of you from back now? Character or person? Like, me or Chrissy? Like how you are. Like you. Me? I like that question, that's great. I've answered this, my, question, my answer doesn't change. Um, what is love by Hadaway? <laughs> I feel like I put it on and, and Beck and I would just immediately be like, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> What's your song? <laughs> so, I thought they said Chrissy and I just switched off. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is you. <laughs> uh, the song White Snake is a slow. <laughs> is a slow. Right on the way. Is a slow. I'm searching for me. Is a slow. I, I'm not going to, you can say I'm not going to reflect any more of me. It's, it'll be pain, not love. <laughs> Guys' favorite character from each season. Yeah. That's really good. It's, I would say Dustin from the first one. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah that's fair. Yeah. Uh, Max. I like Max in the second one. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Um, I would say Joe Kerry in the third one. Like the actor, not the character. Like the, the character. <laughs> it's played by Joe Carey. <laughs> Steve? Steve. Steve. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. And Chris? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and Eddie. <laughs> Brilliant, we're over in the side. What do you think is going to happen in season five? <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Are you even allowed to say anything about season five? Yeah, but we can make it up. You can make it up. You put it in say in Russian. No, no, no. <laughs> I've heard some theories that are interesting. You, you can tell. There's no. It's, it's just amongst friends. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what did you hear, Grace? <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> Secrets. <laughs> Secrets are precious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, in, in, in my season five, we go to the upside down, we bring you all back, including Eddie. We bring you all back. We find that in the Upside Down you're not actually dead and we bring you all back. That's it. That's it. The end. Um. Um, hi. Um, I've, I've recently got into drama and you guys have inspired me a lot. Was there any like certain actresses or actors that inspired you as a child? Actors? Oh, sorry. Paul Heyman. <laughs> I saw him when I was 11 years old in Butch Cassidy and I fell in love. 
You wouldn't know him, probably. <laughs> but you should. <laughs> I like my, uh, Michael Shannon. Oh, I yeah. think he's good. Yeah. He's just a little bit deeper and has a lot of layers. I like this. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And Johnny Depp, but that's that's easy. I like Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I like this question. I, like this question. <laughs> I could go all day. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> At two. Okay. Hi, Grace. I um. I was just wondering, like, you know how you're like, you really, you really like to read? Yeah. I was just wondering, like, outside of cheerleading and stuff, what kind of activities would Chrissy like? Oh, man. Oh. I feel like Chrissy would cross stitch. I was thinking that exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, and I think she wouldn't care too, like, she wouldn't have a passion for music, but I think if she had grown relationships with new people, she'd grow a passion for music too. Um, and then would start going to concerts. <laughs> okay, yeah, we can. The back. At the back. So, this is a question directed at everyone on stage. How much better would it make your days if I went out and bought you a squishy right now? <laughs> if, if, you want, if, if the gentleman went out and uh, bought you two uh, a, ch- a cherry slushy as well as myself, how much better? <laughs> how much better would that make your day? Much, mine. Much, much, much better. Much better. I'd be happy with that. I'll take that. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs> Best fans ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the acting comes in. Nobody tell him. Hmm. Mine. Like pasta. Yes. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. Pasta. <laughs> Don't need anything. And coffee, I guess. Yeah. Like coffee. We'll sort out a coffee later. <laughs> I had three. <laughs> Hi, um, this is a question um, for Grace. Um, if Chrissy wasn't a cheerleader, what would she do? Where are you? If Chrissy wasn't a cheerleader, what would she do? Like in high school? Yeah. Oh, man. I think Chrissy would be a part of a like creative writing group but she wouldn't be very good at it (laughs) yeah something that is more um what is it yeah introverted (laughs) yeah i like that question that's the, that's the impression I got with Chrissy as well, because uh, when you watch it superficially the first time, oh yeah, she's the head cheerleader, yeah, 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 great. But then you see that she is quite introvert, she's quite quiet. Yeah. And then I was thinking back to like, the reason he knew, uh, uh, the reason Chrissy knew Eddie was because of um, the, the, the talent show. Is that right, yeah, you guys went to? And you said, well, oh, you, know, you admired him and all the rest of it. And so there's a lot more going on there. She, you know, I love, I loved her character. It was, you know, she was quite deep in part. She wasn't the superficial cheerleader. Yeah, I and like she, to think so. Yeah, I thought so as well. Oh, sorry, there's some other people arrived. <laughs> um, hi. This is a question for Grace. What was your reaction when you first saw Vecna? In person. Yeah. Well, um, I met Jamie before we started filming, and he's very lovely. And when we filmed the day at the house, um, 
he was in the basement for hours getting the Vecna suit put on. And so I kept going down in the basement and like peeking around the corner to see at what stage the part, like the, the application was at. Um, and then when it was done, he was very method, which means he just like was only Vecna at that point. Um, which was a bit spooky. The set was pretty quiet, except for like every now and then you'd hear in the background, like, your suffering is about to end. And we were all just like, okay. I don't want to cherry slippy. So, it was spooky, but really cool. Thank you. Um, this is a question for both of you. Um, when you first like found out you were going to be cast for Alexi and Chrissy, what were your reactions? I was um, uh, I, I was the thing is I wasn't sure where I was going to play because uh, they were writing the part as we were going along, and it was so secretive that they don't actually give you the script until like two, three weeks before you start shooting, really. So I was excited, but somehow a little bit anxious uh, because you weren't sure. So I didn't know what it was going to be. Yeah, it was the same. I'm pretty um, pessimistic. Mm. So when I got the, the call that I had booked it, I, I, I didn't want to ever let myself get excited or believe that it was real until it literally released. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, they didn't cut me. <laughs> Absolutely the same. <laughs> Two nervous actors. Yeah. Just been... So how far ahead did you guys know your story arc then? So you've got the you've got the play, you've got it, you've got it, you're in Stranger Things. Did you know uh, a day ahead of we you know, we, uh, how 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 much of the story arc did you know? Yeah, so I booked it and they didn't really um tell me much. Yeah. It wasn't until like a year later we were on set or I had just gone into Georgia and the Duffer brothers were like calling and texting me, being like, Yes, yeah, so let's talk about your parents and this and that. Um and I was just like, yeah, 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 we can talk about it. Do you mind if I read the script first? And they were like, What? Because <laughs> they thought that I already had and they were like talking about different things and I had no idea what they were talking about. <laughs> so. But how much did they release to you in you know in a bundle? I I, I mean for us we get the you know, or, or for me anyway, I always think, oh you must go weeks and weeks ahead, you know exactly what's going on. But is it sort of released little bit by bit, here we are? Um, no? No, I got the first two scripts right then, and then I filmed over sporadically sprinkled the course of like six, seven months. Mm. And then, but I only got the first two scripts, but then I hung out with Joe and Mason a bit, and they told me everything. <laughs> They like I would just sit there at, at dinners and they'd be like, and then this happens, and then this, and I was just like, stop, yeah. stop, and they're like, and then I die, and then I die, yeah. and I was like, oh my god. So I, I mean, that must impact on how you're. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that must impact. Oh Amazing. Oh Amazing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Sugar and ice. <laughs> it's Grace's favourite, thank you. Yes. Um, do you want me to hold it? No. You might change your slip. Okay. Let's grab our next question. This is a question for both of you. Did you take anything from the sack? Uh, <laughs> 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 ah, yes. yes. I took the 86 necklace and Chrissy's bracelet. <laughs> Which I don't even think you ever see in the show, but she's got a bracelet. <laughs> I tried. I tried. Oh, I just left the last day 
You see, there you go. Like I got, I got the um, uh, the watch. Oh, watch. You? Because it was a really cool, like Soviet watch, which you know you could never find these days. Yeah. So yeah, we nicked stuff. <laughs> That's what we do. Yeah, you just steal it. Yeah, they should pay more. <laughs> I wish I just walked off with her uniform, but I think they would have noticed that one right away. <laughs> this is a question for Alec. And, um, why on the set does Alec seem like a red slushy? Why on the set Alexi like a red slushy? Is that, is that, is that the question? It, it why is. does he like a red slushy? Why, why, yeah, why does he like one? I mean, who doesn't, Bryce? <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> um, so Are you not answering that question? It's really good. That's, that's it. That's your answer. Yeah, that's my answer. <laughs> I don't know how to extend it beyond. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, sorry. <laughs> I like the icy bit. <laughs> and it grows on you. It'll grow on you. <laughs> um, so both uh, both of you, uh, Dungeons and Dragons is a big part of the show. Um, if your character played D&D, what do you think they'd play? Like what sort of character? Ooh, he knows the show. He knows the show. <laughs> I'd be an elf. What? I was going to say that. <laughs> but what would my character be? I feel like Percy would pick, like, I don't know what the options are, honestly. I really don't. But I feel like she'd pick like a little frog looking thing. <laughs> if that's an option. <laughs> the most frog looking creature on the game. <laughs> I'll learn it and I'll get back to you. She, she doesn't know. She you has, don't freaking know. You picked Elf. I want to be an elf. elf. I want to be I know Elf. elf. I know yeah. Elf. I know Warlock. I know Elf and Warlock. <laughs> Is there a Warlock? I know Elf and Warlock. That's one more than you. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Rage. <laughs> Hi, yeah. This, this is a question for both of you. Um, if you could star in any other TV show, what would you be in? Oh, oh God! <sighs> I forgot the name. <laughs> I forgot the name. But the one with the horns. The one with the fans. No, the, the, the little kid one. Robert Downey Jr. Uh, was producer. Was a producer with a kid with the horns. Sweet tooth. I liked it. I liked the first season. It was nice. That means it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> You have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> I want to be in True Detective season one, but I want to be Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> but like, I, I can't replace him. I just want to be him. Matt. <laughs> so to independently be on the show now, I guess like I think the Sandman's cool. Oh. It'd be cool to work on. Mm. Have you seen that one? No. It's new. Really? Yeah. I'll watch it. Yeah, you should. It's on Netflix. Sandman. <laughs> Sandman, yeah. It's based off of a Neil Gaiman creation. Yeah, Neil Gaiman. Yeah. Yeah, great. Who doesn't? It's like, it's like, you know, it's like Jerry Slippers. Who doesn't like Neil Gaiman? You know? It's great. <laughs> oh, let's grab another question. Oh. Um, hi, uh, this is a question for both of you. So, Alec, what was it like working with Winona and David in such chaotic scenes? And Grace, what was it like being with Jamie in his back and get up? Um, very good questions. I, um, with Winona and David, I mean, because it was so easygoing and very helpful, I think it's, uh, you know, they made it so much easier to find your character. And they actually prodded you more so that you open up more. 
So I found them very supportive, funny, and real professionals. <laughs> How does this second question differ from the one I answered? Is it what was it like working with Jamie as Revenue? Yeah, yeah. But is it, you know, what was it like? You know, when you see him, obviously you know Jamie outside. He's before. really slow as <laughs> So I had to be standing there crying at the door for ages while he slowly walked up to me. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah, it's like extending. Like, how long does the boss die for? <laughs> Oh. Did he have to? Was it difficult for him to move around in all the? I don't know. External? Maybe. Was his problem? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know? I'm just checking. We are nearly out of time. Can I squeeze a couple more questions? Are you good? You guys good with this? I would do this all day. This is brilliant. Proper Captain America. That's brilliant. Uh-huh. Okay. Hi. Um. Well, Grace. If Chrissy lived, other than Eddie, who do you think she would get on with and like form a friendship with? I think she would have a fun relationship or fun um, friendship with Argyle, Jonathan, Robin, and then I think she'd be very curious about Levin, and I I think she'd be um, impressed with Max's outgoing personality and her spunk. And be like, cool, I wish I was like that at that age and now. <laughs> I like that question. It's <laughs> yeah. a good one. Go for it. Last but one. Uh, okay. Um, wait, is it on? Um, yeah. um, is Will ever going to lose the bowl cut? It's <laughs> <laughs> terrible. <laughs> We just, we just need to lose the bowl and the bowl can go and that's all we need What do you think? Is it, do, you, do you guys have any inside information about whether that bowl, bowl cut haircut that Will Scott is going to go? Oh wow. No way. You see? You see? No. <laughs> I don't know. Was that cool in the 80s? <laughs> I think the answer is we can but send thoughts and prayers. Um, <laughs> My dad had one of those. I've seen it in his little kid pics. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the shorts went surely the hair kept down as well. Okay. I've got a question for Grace. Um, what's your opinion on the Chrissy Wake Up song? I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think everyone should make it their um, wake up alarm sound. <laughs> Your word for that? Wake up alarm sound. No, there is. Just alarm. <laughs> but like you have, you set alarms for different things. Like I set an alarm for when the laundry's gonna go off, so I have to change it over to the dryer so I don't forget. So like it's a, it's a wake up alarm. Seems like I can. Can we have one more? Let's <laughs> not end on that note. <laughs> now that you have the Slurpee, can you reenact the Slurpee scene where you're just sipping it and Winona, David, and Murray are all arguing? <laughs> I just want to see you drink it again. Just like, don't okay, you all argue. <laughs> you like it? Yes, yes. Which one was better, this one or the one on the show? Uh, the one on the show was good. <laughs> and this one, this one is good too. <laughs> definitely, definitely, this was it. Hey, are you guys? We we come to the end of the panel. We're, we're really at the end of the panel by about ten minutes over. Okay. Yeah, you guys up for a bit of fun? Uh, yeah. Is that <laughs> yes. behave? Yes. Behave. Um, what about if we do? A photo with everyone in the back, with you guys in the front. Well, should we do that? Yeah? 
Can we post that then? Where's coming? Will that be good? You all gonna behave? Okay, brilliant. Right, let's do this. Let's see. If we go, I was. I tried. How is this going? Like sugar. Oh, it's cold. Oh, hold on. We've got no Oh, um, uh, yeah, so we are That's it. Hold on. You ready? One, two, three. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 